short division. This is when we have a little bus stop and we do our working out. We put it all in the top line, bus stop method. Let's look at seven into 357, just pop the bus stop on there. Seven into three, this doesn't go. So we just add a zero. Then we're gonna carry the three over seven into 35. We know that one, that goes five times. So we've still got a seven left, seven into seven, goes once, nice and easy, the answer 51. Now let's have a look at 847, pop on the bus stop. We're gonna divide it by five. Fives into eight go one time with three left over. So we've got 34. Fives into 34 go six times with four left over, giving us 47. 47 divided by five goes nine times with two left over. Now in primary school, it'd be okay to write that, but for secondary, we need to keep going to exhaust all the numbers. So we need to add zeros under our bus stop and carry the two. So that gives us five into 20, which we know goes four times. And that's the end of the workings out. So the answer is 169.4. Here we have 423 divided by six. Let's pop on the bus shelter. So six into four, we know that doesn't go. So we add a zero, carry the four. Six into 42, that goes a lovely exact seven times with no remainders. So what we need to do here is six into three goes zero times. And now we need to get rid of that three. So we need to add the zeros in the bus stop carry the three over because we don't want any remainders. So 30 divided by six is five. So our answer would be 70.5. Threes into 62, let's go. So threes into six, we know that's easy, it goes twice. Threes into two, that doesn't go. So we add a zero on the top and we need to add a decimal and our zeros under the bus stop so we can carry on working through the remainders. So 20 divided by three here gives us six with two left over. So we'd carry on the two onto the next zero and we repeat again, 20 divided by three is six with two left over. Now what we can see here is this is going to be the same, this is a recurring. So what we need to do is round it up and we would say 20.6, this is a recurring number and we put the dot above the six to show that and you make sure that's quite large for the examiners to see as papers are marked by computers. Now we've got 52.6, we're gonna divide this by four, pop on the bus stop. In we go, fours into five, that goes once with a remainder of one, carry it over, giving us 12. 12 divided by four, that's lovely, goes in three times, not forgetting to place the decimal point in line with the bottom. So fours into six, we know that goes once with a remainder of two. And again, we need to add our zeros under the bus stop to get rid of the remainders. So fours into 20 goes five times. So there we have it, our answer, 13.15. So you might get asked to put this fraction into a decimal and it may be a non-calculator paper. So we'd use short division for this. So let's go again, nine into two, well that doesn't go. So zero up the top, decimal point, zero on the bottom. So now we carry the two. So 20 divided by nine, we know that goes two times with two remainder. So again, we're gonna add another zero and carry on. 20 divided by nine, it's gonna be the same again. Two, remainder two. So as you can see, we've got another recurring decimal here. So the answer, if you'd round it up, would be 0 0.2 recurring and not forgetting the point above the two. So this is the doctor formula, DR, D for divide, R for remain. Continue that, divide, remain, divide, remain.